Also making news in downtown Hendersonville, Charlotte the Stingray has gained international fame because of her believed mateless pregnancy. Now more than three months since News 13 crews first visited the aquarium and shark lab, Charlotte has yet to give birth. News 13's Justin Berger explains why. News blogs and tabloids still talking about Charlotte the Stingray months later. What do you think about all this? I think it's pretty cool. Um, I think the more we keep these animals, the more we learn about them and their capabilities. Dr. Chris Lowe is a professor of marine biology and the director of the Shark Lab at California State University, Long Beach. Yeah, we've been studying sharks and rays for 30 years now in the Shark Lab. Charlotte, who according to the Team Echo Ocean Center and Aquarium Facebook page, has been pregnant since around December. In Southern California, it looks like anywhere from three to four months is typical in terms of their um, gestation rates, but a lot of that is dependent on water temperature. Well past three to four months, Charlotte's unborn pups are believed to be the result of a process known as parthenogenesis, a form of reproduction where an egg develops without being fertilized. We don't fully understand why parthenogenesis occurs um, and under what conditions, and in fact, it doesn't look to be terribly successful. In fact, a lot of the offspring don't do well and many of them don't survive. As to why Charlotte's pregnancy could be taking longer than normal. Diapause is this um, temporary stop of development. And it turns out that in rays, this is somewhat common. So if the female is stressed, if she's nutritionally um, underweight, she might actually put her embryos on pause. Lowe says there are a handful of labs capable of measuring Charlotte's stress hormones via a blood sample, similar to how stress is monitored in humans. Or it could be even that the embryos are not surviving or have, have died and she's reabsorbing them to take those nutrients in. So sometimes they'll abort embryos that, that just aren't well or have died. And in some cases they'll reabsorb some of the eggs and things like that, that, that aren't going to be viable. In their most recent Facebook post on May 8th, the aquarium noted Charlotte changed very little since their last update, but says they have, quote, expanded support and medical teams of qualified veterinarians for additional testing. The comments on the May 8th post were muted. Commenters on previous Facebook posts wanting to know more. I think people are just going to have to be patient. One okay. way or the other, something's going to come out and they may be dead, but you know, we'll see.